Alright, this is Flippin' Nomad, and I'm doing a tutorial step-by-step -step video on how to connect and set up your Xbox Wireless G adapter for the Xbox One console to the Xbox 360. This is a very simple process, doesn't take that long, it should be online within minutes, literally. First off, the package of this should come with an Ethernet cable, power cable. Set it up, of course, power, plug in the power cable, plug in the Ethernet cable from this port to the 360 port. And just set it somewhere where you get good signal. Now, these three lights have their own representation. This means power, which is a green. Wireless, which detects the wireless networks. If it blinks, it should be normal. And your Xbox, which should be green as well, meaning it detects it. Now, when you do do that, go on your Xbox 360. Go on your network. Go on your system. Slide. Then go to network settings. Then go to and go to edit settings then go to the wireless mode if you if the 360 doesn't already automatically detect it and once you click go into wireless mode it will scan for any nearby wireless signals like from your wireless modem or your wireless router once it does that if there's a key on there you can connect to it and you just input the key, and it should be all done. Like, see here, like it detect already detected a few wireless networks, but I'm already connected to my own. So yeah. Oh, on a key note, if you if you get IP failed, sometimes you can get it just to input your MAC address. Just go to the additional settings page on the basic settings for the networking, and just manually input your MAC address, which you can find on your computer by doing this. Okay, let me just, um, hold on here. Okay, alright, you go to start, you go to run, you click CM, you type in CMD. Now, you type in IPIG, I, uh, you type in IP config, all one word, space, slash, all. Now you should get a list there. One of those lists would be the MAC address for the computer that it's using. Just copy that and input it on the 360 console itself and your IP should work. After that, just um, test the settings to see if it connects online and you should be good. Like this basically works on the Xbox 360. It's, it will save you tons of money rather than paying for the full hundred dollar price. The Xbox 360 adapter, you can get the Xbox one for around fifty dollars or less. So this is Flippin' Nomad. I hope my tutorial video helped out to you people out there to show that the 360, um, I mean the Xbox wireless adapter for the Xbox One console does work, and I show you how to set it up. Easy setup process. And I believe that people should buy this instead of pay for the hundred bucks because buy a hundred dollars to make it go wireless is insane. Seriously, no one, no one should buy it, spend that much to go wireless because PCs you can go, make them go wireless like dirt cheap. So yeah, just um, here's proof that I'm online right now. I guess I can of course view the marketplace page. And this is Flippin' Nomad. Hope the tutorial helped, and I'll be seeing you guys later on in my next video.